Hey guys, Core here doing another Halo 3 action figure review, and today I'm reviewing the uh, Mongoose pack that comes with the uh, Crimson slash Steel uh, CQB Spartan. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, <laughs> there's not too much to be said about this figure that it comes with. This is probably one of the worst figures I've ever gotten from McFarlane. It's just really sad the paint job on it is absolutely horrible um it's just it doesn't look up to McFarlane's standards to what they've been doing with like some of the steel spartans that have come out and the white spartans and just it doesn't look like they made this figure because it is horrible the joint the ankle joints right here and the toe joints i can barely move them and if i try and move them they're going to snap off because I actually got another Mongoose with the Mark V and his toe snapped off and I lost it, which sucks. So the joints are horrible. And the leg joints are really uh, loose too, and the, like the hip joints right here. And that's never awesome. Uh, he has uh, improved joints for to help him ride the Mongoose, but I don't really like the look of them. Uh, just the way they have like this big joint thing in the middle it just kind of makes it look tacky and gaudy uh, but he could do the splits he could actually ride the mongoose the figure can actually ride the mongoose don't get me wrong but uh, I would choose a different Spartan to ride the mongoose because this guy is a horrible figure very bad paint job on the steel too is just like just a gray just a plain plain gray you know there's nothing special about it and uh, it just looks really awful. The joints, it just feels like this figure is going to fall apart in my hands right now. Just because I'm holding it. Um, this wrist joint right here. The uh, little peg that holds in the wrist. Which I actually hate these wrists for the Spartans because they tend to break. Um, this little peg hole is starting to come out. So it's going to fall out. Eventually i got to slide it back in there. But uh, it just slides back out whenever I slide it back in. So... You know, his wrist will probably end up falling off at some point. And then his trigger finger thing, well actually his thumb on the trigger finger hand, fell off. Just right out of the packaging. Just completely snapped off. And uh, I have to glue that back on because there's no way if I put it on here that it will stay on long enough for me to do anything with him. And that means I can't even put a weapon in his hand now because of a... Uh, I have to super glue that into his hand, which really sucks. So this figure is pretty much worthless to me. But to be honest, I only bought the Mongoose package for the actual Mongoose. And this figure also doesn't come with any weapons, too, just to let you know. <clears throat> so the Mongoose is a completely different story from the figure because this is an amazing vehicle it's the first vehicle that McFarlane has made for the Halo 3 figures besides the like the small mini vehicles they did which is kind of pointless to me I think if they make vehicles they should make them in scale with the figures like this one this is an amazing uh, thing to have in your collection you know when you have figures riding on uh, vehicles and you can it just opens up the the uh, amount of options you can do as far as display goes all the wheels move around or spin whatever and uh... what i don't understand is they have like these little things uh... like foot plates to put your foot on when you have your figure riding it you know and then they also have these ones too that come down so i don't know why they've included two especially when one's articulated and one, one doesn't have any articulation on it so kind of weird but uh, whatever maybe they think you can put two people on the mongoose or something which you can't do they have a little uh, flap in the back to where you can lift this up and you can have somebody sitting on it or you could put it down and have someone standing up with like a rocket launcher or something and shooting at everyone so I'm really glad that this mongoose turned out the way it did and uh it didn't turn out the way this figure did because if it did I would be returning it and I'd be very upset with McFarlane because you know this is the first vehicle they've ever made for the Halo 3 figures 
And if they screwed it up, it's going to upset a lot of people. And they're probably not even going to want to, you know, buy any more vehicles if they did make any in the, the future. So, at least they put the effort in on the vehicle. The handlebar turns, but it does not move the wheels when you turn it, which is uh, <clears throat> a little bit disappointing. I thought that would be cool if they added in that feature into it. Because it looks like you can move the wheels on this joint right here it looks like you should be able to move it but uh, you can't and uh, you know when I make a stop motion and I want to use a mongoose I would like it if I could turn you know the handlebars and the mongoose would turn said so you gotta just move it a little bit over and stuff and it, does, it just doesn't look as realistic so whatever the paint job on it is really nice though they've added in you know dirt all over the mongoose so where it's been like riding around in the mud and stuff like that dirt on the wheels and all over the uh, body and stuff so very cool vehicle I think the figure is absolutely horrible I don't know I've heard a lot of bad things about the the figures that came with the mongoose packs like they just wanted to throw in a figure they didn't care what it looked like or if it fell apart or not just give them something extra to make us look better or something I don't know but, uh, whatever. I would pick up the Mongoose pack for the Mongoose. If you're picking it up for the figure, I would <laughs> strongly recommend you just skip it. But, uh, the Mongoose, excellent figure, horrible. So, yeah. If you like these figure reviews, action figure reviews, and stuff like that, I have a bunch of reviews on my channel. So, check that out. And, uh... Subscribe or send me a friend invitation. I'll accept it. No problem. And I will see you guys in my next review. And thank you all for watching as always. Bye.